Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you about salt today. Um, the good salt, the bad salt. And today I'm sitting outside on a beautiful day and I hope that my arm can hold this phone up as long as this video is gonna be. No, I'm just joking. Uh, shouldn't be long at all. But I uh, had an opportunity to do a health talk this morning and one of the things we were talking about um, were myth busting, okay? And how often have you heard that salt is bad for you? Uh, specifically, if you have some form of um, coronary disease or uh, hypertension, different things like that. And so I wanted to share a couple things <clears throat> like table salt and not all salt is created equal. Well, maybe it was created equal, but then it's what we've done to it that is actually the problem. So table salt, which is actually sodium chloride, right, um, is manufactured and as it goes through uh, that process, it can contain chemicals like synthetic iodine, fluoride, aluminum, bleaching agents, and even sugar, which is crazy. So yes, we're talking about uh, that salt shaker usually on the tables at the restaurants or cafeterias or um, certainly in the packets at any kind of like to-go or fast food places. Um, but sea salt or Himalayan salt is very different. And we know that it's rich in minerals like magnesium, zinc, selenium. We know we need selenium in our system to be able to convert our T4 to T3, which is our active thyroid hormone. So that's super important. Um, we have also in the Himalayan salt are active, or excuse me, alkaline minerals, which are powerful electrolytes. So we know we need balanced sodium potassium ratios so that we can stay hydrated, we can feel good, and, and have the energy that we need. Oh, will you go in there? Titus is still sleeping. <laughs> the dogs are barking. Um, so the other thing is it contains trace elements for um, like, and all the things that you need for your thyroid to function properly, your adrenal system, your immune function, all of these things need tiny little minerals um, that we only get from the great things on this earth that God gave us. So then the last thing that um, I was reading about, which is super cool, is it actually creates, it helps your body create digestive enzymes in your body. So not just that you can digest your food, but you can also assimilate the good stuff. You can absorb the nutrients and the vitamins from the food that you're eating. How cool is that? So I encourage you to be that girl or that guy that takes your own salt when you're going out to eat because salt is not a bad thing. It is something that is essential. Um, then, and there's a lot of people, uh, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, you can take a glass of water and put an eighth to a fourth of a teaspoon uh, and put that in there. It could help decrease swelling. Um, it could help with a little bit of joint pain. Definitely balance your electro electrolytes. Um, runners, athletes, they absolutely love this trick. And the latest trick uh, or person that it is for is our dear ladies growing humans. When you um, are swelling, and you just can't get that to come down sometime first thing in the morning, some sea salt uh, could help you out. So hope that helps, see you soon.